All right, so I am going to change my arena team tonight with you. And to do that, I need to change all of my mods on my arena team. Now, I had this video idea given to me a while back from one of my patrons to walk through my thought process when I mod an arena team in a simple way. And so in this video, I'm going to do my very best to give you guys a simple guide for the common man on how to effectively mod an arena team. Now, please keep in mind, this will be an arena modding guide on how I mod my arena team. So first of all, it won't be the hear all the say all. There's a lot of subjectivity in here. This is just what I have found to be effective. And then also speed is going to be king in this video. When you're modding an arena team, you've got to have the speed. There are very, very, very few exceptions to that. And so I'm going to be talking a lot about speed secondary in this video, which is a big important part of that. And again, I do want this to be geared towards the common man. Not all of us have tons of speed secondary mods that are just phenomenal. I want this to be a video that can make sense to you guys as well. Now, I definitely have a lot of speed secondary and I'm going to try to mod these characters as effectively as possible. Uh, but that said, it's all going to be kind of relative depending on how long you've been playing. I've been playing and searching for speed secondary for years now. Um, but even in my arena shard, I'm kind of falling behind even where I'm at. So just bear in mind, I might not be where you're at. You might not be where I'm at, and that's okay. The idea is going to be to find the best speed secondary possible for as many characters as you can and to prioritize that effectively. I am going to give you five steps of how I approach remodding my arena team. Now, right now, I actually have not remodded my arena team yet and so i still need to think through what mods are going to go where i'm going to show you how i do that and a tool that i use is the crouching rancor.com squad management tool or squad slash mod management tool which i think is the best way to get this in front of you on paper so let's go over to crouching rancor.com so if you go over here right here you'll see a great tools tab and then once you're in there, it's going to give you a spot to put in your ally code. You do not need to have a SWGOH.GG account synced. You only need your ally code for this tool to work for you. You'll see here there's a mod manager button. Go ahead and click on that. And then once you're there, you'll see this screen come up, which has a lot of stuff here. This is where you're going to filter everything. But first, you're going to want to do squad simulator and now this is where we're going to be able to select five characters our full arena team that we are going to be prioritizing and organizing these mods on so the first thing i do because it's arena speed is king remember and so i want to have as as much as possible every single character to have a mod with good speed secondary on them so if you go up here at the top you can filter all of these mods by by set by uh, how many dots by uh, which uh, type they are primary stats level and secondary stats so what i'm going to click on here is speed secondary and once i click on that this is automatically going to filter so that only the speed secondary mods are showing and it's going to prioritize them based on the best speed secondary so you can see here my best speed secondary mod is a plus 21 speed i actually got that about a week ago i was in the car with, with a carpool on my way home from work with my dad and i about blew his eardrums out because of how excited i was these mods take a while to find all right, so now that I've got all the speed secondary uh, filtered, these are going to be the mods I'm going to primarily choose from. There will be some exceptions for some characters, but for the most part, you're going to want to only put mods that have speed secondary on these characters. Now I'm going to type in which members of the squad I am prioritizing the mods for. Now, what I like to do is to set the speed order of priority. Something you want to think about is what is your turn order what needs to happen at the beginning of these battles who needs to go first whoever you absolutely need to go first be sure to put that character first and so in this case i'm going to be putting my jedi in so hermit yoda is going to be top priority i need him to go first the second character that's going to need to go is grandmaster yoda so i'm going to put grandmaster yoda right there after that i'm going to have ezra on the priority list then Commander Luke Skywalker. And then finally, my tank, 
General Kenobi. Generally speaking, your tanks are going to be last on the speed order, but you still do want speed on most of them, and I will prioritize some speed on General Kenobi. It just won't be nearly as important as Hermit Yoda will be. So now what I am going to go in and do is assign all of the best speed secondary mods to the characters I need to go first. I'm just going to kind of go through the line here. You can see here I, I kind of start tapering off after about 14 speed. That's probably going to be where I stop. I'm going to assign all of these mods to characters that need the speed. All right, so now I have gone through and I've pretty much assigned all of my best speed secondary to characters that I need to be fast. Hermit Yoda is going to be the fastest need I have. As I've shown in my videos before, I really need him to go fast. Now, I have kind of been keeping in mind the set bonuses here. Um, and this is what you're going to want to start worrying about next. Get the speed secondary out there first and then start looking at these characters and going, all right, what set bonuses do I need Hermit Yoda here, I know I'm going to need to have a speed bonus on him because I need him to be my fastest. So I want my fastest mods also with the speed bonus. Uh, with Grandmaster Yoda, um, I want him to hit hard. So offense or crit damage bonus would be nice there. It doesn't look like we're very close to that, however. So he might just kind of take uh, some secondary speed and we'll try to get him some primary stats with offense. Ezra, I've already got two offense mods that ended up on him. I really want him to hit hard too. And so having us um, some offense on Ezra would be very good. So we'll try to work that out. Get him another couple uh, offense mods there. If we can, shake that out. And then Commander Luke Skywalker, you can see here we have um, a little bit of crit damage going. And so maybe we can try to shuffle things around a bit to get that crit damage. So when doing that, what I would advise you of is to be willing to sacrifice a few points of speed to get the set bonus on characters that you need, especially for your attackers. It's going to be more valuable, in my opinion, to have an offense set bonus or crit damage set bonus on, say, Commander Luke Skywalker or Ezra in this situation than it will be to have just one or two extra speed points and so when i work this out here in a second i'm going to try to work it out so that i can get set bonuses on them hopefully yoda as well uh, without sacrificing too much speed it's kind of a balancing act and that's what this tool helps you to visually see what how much speed am i sacrificing where are the uh, set bonus mods and you can filter all of those above here if you want to look for offense mods click on that filter look at the speed secondary see where they are and weigh out the pros and cons all right so now i almost have every mod assigned you'll notice here that i have the arrows left off a big reason for that is pretty much everybody's going to need a speed arrow sometimes you may want a protection arrow on a tank uh, but for the most part you want to have a speed arrow speed primary arrow on those characters and i use that as kind of a filler spot to complete set bonuses because you don't the primary stat is set you've got the speed there's going to be no speed secondary and so those mods are a lot more lucrative once you build up a store of them and you do need to build up a store of them and so you can see here hermit yoda i've got three speed set mods so i need to go in here and find a speed set mod that has speed primary on that arrow that should be pretty manageable Grandmaster Yoda, I kind of threw in the towel. I was just sacrificing finding enough speed for him. I found the speed, but a set bonus just really doesn't seem to be in the cards from based on the mods I have. If I could, I would put offense or crit damage on him, uh, but that just ended up being, uh, being what I'm going to have on other characters. Ezra looks like I should be able to have an offense set bonus here. Um, so you can see those are, I've got three uh, of those offense mods. I just need to find a offense set speed arrow. Say that 10 times fast. And then Commander Luke, you can see here I found three of the crit damage uh, uh, set mods. And so I need to find one of those for the arrow. And then General Kenobi, not much really happening there. Uh, but I was able to find some good protection mods for him. Now, a couple quick notes, because I did sacrifice a little speed secondary here. Here You'll see here, uh, like General Kenobi, for example, I end up only giving him plus 9 speed on here. I have a lot of better speed I can give him. I can give him up to 12, 13, I think even 14 speed. I might have a 14 speed square left. The reason why I sacrificed this is because look at the secondary stats here. He's going to gain plus 3.46 protection and 
1700 protection from this mod as well so this is a beautiful tank mod plus nine speed is still pretty good and in my opinion worth sacrificing the speed so i can have that additional protection for him another example is look at commander luke skywalker i gave him hans square which is going to have only 11 speed again i could probably find a little bit better speed for him however the reason why i'm giving him that mod in particular is because i want to complete that set bonus with the crit damage and so for general kenobi there was a secondary stat that was important and then for commander luke skywalker there was a set bonus that was important so you really want to consider both of those things after you get all of that secondary lined up then look at the set bonuses and do a little juggling to find out what's the best solution to this where, where do i get the best uh, set bonuses possible can i get set bonuses maybe you can't and maybe you need to have that speed there can i can i prioritize some of those secondary stats and the more of those mods that you build up the more freedom you will have to do that it might be pretty limited you can only be so picky when speed secondary is hard to come by and so for some of you you may be able to get some of those set bonuses you may be able to get none of them it's okay speed secondary is going to come first then you want to prioritize your set bonuses and your secondary stats after speed secondary and then finally i have assigned those speed arrows to do that when you go to the filter tool all you need to do is deselect the secondary bonus speed and select the speed bonus and i was able to find some pretty good mods for that again i've been farming these speed arrows for a long time so i do have a pretty decent store of them built up it may take you some time to get there it's definitely something you want to prioritize but you'll see here i did find a speed uh, arrow that had a speed set for hermit yoda so i completed that speed set bonus that's gonna look pretty good i've i've ended up adding 111 speed to my hermit yoda that does not factor in the speed bonus so that's gonna be a pretty quick hermit yoda i hope it can beat some of those nests in my shard i think it should be able to beat a lot of them maybe not all of them uh grandmaster yoda again i kind of gave up on the set bonus for him i just don't have the depth of mods but i did at least find a way to get a uh, potency bonus i don't know what that's going to really give me uh and a health bonus uh, because i got two health set mods there um ezra i did find ray had an offense speed arrow and so i've got the offense set completed you need four for the offense uh so that's very good and then commander luke same story fortunately hera was sleeping on a speed arrow that had crit damage as the set and so i've completed that set there as well and then general kenobi i kind of gave up on the set bonus with him too it wasn't in the cards i i, I went in favor of as much speed uh, or uh, protection secondary as I could find and that was the case of what I found on the speed arrow uh, nest my nest had a 1200 pro uh, protection secondary on her speed arrow and so I'm going to send that to General Kenobi all right my friends I hope this video was helpful for you at the end of the day modding can be very complicated i did try to make this as simple as possible not the easiest thing to do but to make it very simple you want to put your best speed secondary on your arena team this tool can help you do so i recommend prioritizing the speed secondary first and then going in to see where can you get set bonuses where can you work in other secondary stats you need sacrifice a little bit of speed here and there especially for your attackers to get maybe a crit damage or an offense boost or to get Get some protection some extra protection on your tanks but not too much you still do need your characters to be fast the characters that you really can't afford to sacrifice any speed on are going to be those characters that you really have to have go first in the battle like your hermit yodas your bb8s your emphasis nests and those kind of characters that just must go first in the battle but after that a few points here and there isn't a big deal so you can hit a little bit harder in the battle to burn through those opponents what other modding tips do you guys have? What has it been helpful for you? Please discuss down in the comments below. This is a very difficult subject to tackle. And so the more tips you can share, the better. I want to help as many of you as possible to feel more comfortable modding those characters. If you did like the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And as always, my brothers, don't forget. My dead body. Sorry about the mess.